Fox the new Red Sea protein skimmer. Uh, this is my first look at it. They're fairly new. I think they just came out like a month or two ago. So this is the big one. This is the 900. We're going to be using it on the peninsula up front. So thank you so much, Gabriel, our Patreon supporter, for sending us this <laughs> a box of knives, actually. Uh, last time, Liza was using scissors to open these boxes. So thank you for that, Gabriel. like Christmas every day here. I love unboxing things. So one of the things that we want to do for you guys and the future is any time a product comes in, we want to be the first ones to review it, open it up, show it to you guys, and let you know what we think. So right away, it seems like it was packed pretty well. Red Sea's been in the game pretty long, so they know what they're doing. Giant rubber bands, who doesn't want a giant rubber band? I was going to cut it, but... Woo, would you look at that? Nice pack job. No damage there. Beautiful molded. All right. So let's see what we got. This looks like the bubble diffuser for inside the skimmer. Red Sea. Looks like a pretty cool plate. So we'll check that in. Up next, we have the body of the skimmer. Taped on pretty well. Now you can tell this unit is built pretty efficiently. They don't use too much plastic and everything seems to be kind of molded very lightweight. Uh, when you hold this compared next to the Bashi, uh, this is probably like one tenth of the weight. So. There's the skimmer cup on top. I think it's a beast. All right. There's really not much to this, guys. This is the skimmer. There's the box. There's everything right there. You got your owner's manual. Let's see what they have. In there. And this is their 1,200 liters per hour pump that they're running the skimmer with, and that's what they have for the 900. So let's see what we got left in here. All right. And this looks like your bubble diffuser. This is um, your intake. So this will suck air and it's actually will quiet it down too, which is nice. So we'll figure out where that goes in a minute. Very basic system. Now, without reading any directions or seeing where these hoses go, I am just guessing and putting this together. But skimmers are pretty standard. There's not really. Now I'm going to take off the bottom. Looks like. So this one has a removable bottom plate, which is pretty nice. So you can put the pump inside. I do prefer skimmers with internal pumps just because if you're using a sump um, underneath the cabinet, it does save on your footprint. Uh, external pumps on skimmers are great if you have the room. Uh, they're easy to maintain and, you know, check for defective parts. But, all right guys, that's that. I will throw this together a little bit later, but I am gonna have to take this apart. This will sit on top of the pump inside the chamber, so. That. But that's our quick unboxing of the Red Sea uh, skimmer, and I will put this underneath the sump. And once we get water in there, you'll be able to see us calibrate this for the next video. But I do tend to try to keep it uh, moist and dry skimming at the same time, which is kind of hard to do. But I'll show you guys that in the next video. So, as always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing. Until next time.
If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.